If you're spending any time in the world of AI, then it won't be long before you come across agents or AI agents. Uh, it feels like 2025 is the year of the agent and it's the buzzword that everyone is talking about. But if you're new to this world, then it can be difficult to understand what an agent is and uh, what its impact could be on your business. Well, an agent is derived from the word agency. And uh, when we think about agency, what we mean is our ability to make our own decisions. So let's give a couple of examples of uh, work so that you can understand what that looks like in a human environment. So if we think about someone working in an ambulance call center, and uh, if you're in the UK, you might watch a program called Ambulance, and there's plenty of these in different countries. And you'll see when they answer it in the UK, is the patient breathing? That's the first question that they have to ask. And then depending on what the patient answers, then they go on to ask the next, next question and the next question. And this is very much a filtered workflow that the ambulance call center handler has to follow. And this enables people to get to a great result but there is no agency. And by that, we mean that the ambulance call center is not deciding what question to ask each time. They're being very much dictated on what to say and when. Now contrast this with an artist. An artist has huge amounts of agency. They can do whatever they want. Uh, they spend time thinking about creative ideas. And having done that, they can choose which medium. Are they gonna use oil or watercolors? Are they gonna create a sculpture? Uh, they can then choose which tools they're going to use in order to create their uh, lovely vision. And then if they're not happy, they can start over and repeat and probably come up with multiple versions to get to what they want. This is someone that has a whole lot of agency, and this is someone that has no agency. So let's bring that back to thinking about AI and AI agents. When we think of something that has no agency, we can think of a defined workflow, which is exactly what this call center handler is following. Do this, then do that, then do that. Uh, we can think about automations. Are we going to have this automated step-by-step -step process that is going to happen in series? So if you're thinking about tools like Zapier or Zapier, if you're thinking about Make, uh, even if you're building chains of LLMs one after another, as long as this is deterministic and pre defined what that process is going to be. This is not an agent. This is an automation or a workflow. When we think about actual agents, uh, we can go back to our idea of an artist coming up with ideas, choosing which tools they're going to use. And the tool word is a key determiner of whether we're talking about an agent. Does the agent have access to a set of tools such as go and check a stock price, go and create a document, uh, go and include another uh, AI agent. Uh, and the ability for the AI agent to decide which tools to use and when is what makes it uh, an agent. Another example that you might see is manager agents. So this is where you have an agent that decides which other agents it is gonna pull in to complete a specific task. That would uh, uh, mean that it's got agency. And the other might be multiple steps, but not just in this example of having a workflow or a step-by-step -step automation, but the agent being able to decide how many of those steps it is going to use. Am I going to repeat this exercise to improve uh, the work that I'm doing, or am I happy and I'm now going to exit out of this process? So hopefully that helps you as you think about agents versus workflow and automations. If you are building uh, AI products or tools, uh, either for within your company or for others, then thinking about these tools is a great exercise that you can start to think through before you get anywhere near any code. If I'm gonna solve this task, what tools would the human go out to use uh, to complete this task? And how can we provide those to the LLM to be able to choose which tools to use and when? Hopefully that helps you and you're now an AI agent expert. And the next time someone drops it into an after dinner conversation, you can explain the difference between an ambulance call center handler and an artist.